Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In the previous lessons, we've learned about SMPP SIM, SMPP receiver, and SMPP transmitter. Now we can start SMPP SIM both in console window and in Eclipse. This is how we started SMPP SIM in console window. This is how we started SMPP SIM in Eclipse. Do you still remember? Now, question is, when should I use console and when should I use Eclipse? When I develop, debug, and make big changes on programs, I prefer Eclipse. When I test on a big scale or conduct a complete test or when I don't need changes on program, I prefer console. It's not a rule or something, it's just my preference. Now we can use SMPP SIM both in console window and in Eclipse. How about SMPP receiver and SMPP transmitter? Currently, we can use both of them in Eclipse. If we make them run on console, we can from now on trigger them with only one click and we don't have to go to Eclipse, find a project out of a list of projects, find the source code, right click, out of over 20 options, find out run as and finally run it. Another good thing about console is that switching between console windows is easier than Eclipse. Here I'm going to replay a piece of video from the previous lesson. Switch to the console window of the receiver. You can also find this struct message. Switch to the console window of the receiver. Let's see what we've got in the receiver. Well, if you do it once or twice, it's fine. If you have to keep switching between console windows, it's kind of tiring and boring. So I'm going to export the Java project to a jar file and execute the program in the jar using a batch file. Just like what we do to start the SMPP SIM. Now let's make a jar file and later on we'll make a batch file. Now I'm going to go to the Eclipse. Find out the Java project of simple SMS receiver. Right click on it. Export. Select runnable jar file under Java. Next. Set the launch configuration as simple SMS receiver. I'm going to export it as C drive as directory receiver. File name is going to be receiver.jar. Leave everything else as default and click on finish. Click OK. Location does not exist. Yes, create one. Now it's time to make a batch file that help us start the program just like what we do to start the SMPP SIM. When we start SMPP SIM, we go to this location and double click on the file. Start SMPP SIM. Do you still remember? Now let's make a similar file that starts a simple SMS receiver. We just created a jar file that contains a program. Go to its location and make sure some configurations in the folder options. Go to the folder options. Under the view tab. Uncheck this one. OK. Here, create a new text file. Rename it to receiver.bat. Right click and open the batch file with your notepad and type java hyphen jar receiver dot jar save it open up the SMPP SIM
and open the receiver just by double clicking this. We can see it's ready to receive message now. Well, we can do the same thing to the simple SMS transmitter. Go to Eclipse, find the Java project of Simple SMS Transmitter, right click on it, export, select the runnable jar file under Java, next, set the launch configuration as Simple SMS Transmitter, and export it at C drive at directory sender. File name is gonna be sender.jar. Leave everything else as default and click on finish. Click OK. Location does not exist. Yes, create one. And make a batch file. Fuse content. Java hyphen jar sender dot jar save it let's put the receiver console in front of us go to the sender's directory double click the sender dot bat you can see the receiver has received a message from sender. Trigger the sender again. Receiver received the message again. Trigger the sender again. Receiver received the message again. That's pretty much it. I hope this video can help you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next videos. Peace.